1234 Media Bio Let's talk about the father of biology. Aristotle 384 to 322 BC Certainly he used to exist a long time ago, and that's why he wasn't able to take a selfie. He was a Greek philosopher, who is known as father of biology. His contributions towards the field of biology and life science was incredible. Let's know more about him. Aristotle was the teacher of the Greek emperor, Alexander the Great. He mainly focused his studies on biology, physiology, logic, physics, astronomy, and political science. Two of his famous books are, History of Animals, and Parts of Animals. If you get some spare time, try to study these books. Aristotle was the first person to study biology systematically. Amazing! Biology and life science was major part of his work. He was first to tell that octopus got reproductive hectocotyl arm for transferring male sperm cells into the female genitals. That red arrow over there shows the hectocotyl arm. He observed each of the animals, and concluded that the structures they got, well matches with their way of life. Birds like heron, lives mostly on fishes, and that's why they got long leg, long neck, and spear type beak. Ducks swims, that's why they got short legs and webbed feet. To his point of view, several animals with almost same characteristics, belong under the same ancestral group. That's how he came close to the theory of evolution, which was put forward by Charles Darwin, by adding some information based on facts. He was the first, to perform experiments on the embryo, and observed the beating heart inside it. He studied more on reproduction, and came up with terms like, lifespan, gestation period, and sex organs, which later contributed to modern genomics. So much amazing right? Aristotle grouped the living organisms into 500 categories, namely, man, birds, snakes, fishes, heart-shelled animals, etc. Hey, what about the death of the legend? You already know that the people during this time certainly didn't believe in science, but in God and his creation. Aristotle being originally from Athens, did most of his work in northern Macedonia, which is modern southern Serbia. After the death of Alexander the Great in 323 BC, anti-Macedonian sentiment forced Aristotle to flee Athens. The government officials of Athens, certainly didn't like this kind of act, and sentenced Aristotle to death. His last wish was to get buried beside his wife, who died a few days ago before the death of her husband. So how was the story? Let me know in the comment section down below. Hey, I'm quite keen to know about any story that you might heard, let me know down below in the comments. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel 1234 Media Bio, to keep on acquiring knowledge like this.